while I'm showing the techniques I use while turning the candlesticks, I made this primary to learn more about the making of a video. Where to position the camera, the lighting, the microphone and of course the editing which goes along with making a film. I have my lathe in front of a window as I consider light to be the most important while turning. But straight away in the video I can see the natural light reflecting onto this piece. I will have to film on a cloudy day or pull the blinds down. I'm using the spindle roughing gouge. Always cut down hill in spindle turning so you are cutting with the grain and not against it. This will help to achieve the smoothest finish and less tear out. I sometimes use a scraper as a scraper to clean up the form. Then by using it in a shearing action for those finishing cuts. tools and you can just about see me using a credit card diamond hone before making those final cuts. You can use me, see me using a skew. I wasn't quite happy with the shape and I wanted to refine it. Now you can see the tool rest is lower, so I'm not using it as a scraper. If you've got the ribbons coming off the tool, you know you're cutting. See sawdust and you know you're scraping. Making a Rudy or Sonic style candlestick is a very good exercise in spindle turning. You can practice using many tools to make the finished product, but of course the trick is to make three different heights and still keep the same proportions and form.
piece, undercut it so it sits flat on any surface. Remember the side of the parting tool is cut in as well and can be used to your advantage. The final cut in the centre should be kept back to avoid pulling out the fibres in the finished turning. It is easy to clean up once it's off the lathe. 